It does also have a bit of a, she's got a bit of a scent, a bit of a, um, a waft. It smells like a ham. It smells like bacon. Something. You must hate that. <laughs> This is not. That's why I can't buy it. Hi, my name's Natasha. I'm a customer service advisor here at Adore Beauty. Today we're going to be talking about ways to prevent and treat pigmentation um, caused by sun damage. I was quite late to the skincare game. I'm 33 now and I spent most of my late 20s tanning at the beach or even worse in a solarium. Don't judge me because standing used to be cool. I actually used to work um, at a solarium beauty salon so it was even worse. I would to come into work and have a sunbed every morning like that I used to work so bad. But also because I'm Italian I just I, I don't burn like I literally my skin doesn't burn so I was like oh, I don't need sunscreen my skin doesn't burn but no. You do. Ironically enough, it was actually when I made the conscious decision to stop tanning that all of my imperfections in my skin started to show. Um, I had age spots, I had fine lines, really uneven skin tone. It turns out that that so-called healthy tan um, was actually just hiding all the damage it was causing. I decided it was time to get serious about my skin and start looking after my skin. Unfortunately, pigmentation is one of the hardest skin issues to reverse. I really wish that the Beauty IQ podcast was around when I was in my early 20s. There's just so much amazing amazing skincare information and education available now. There's not much you can do after the pigmentation has been caused. You can um, you know, try and treat it and try and reduce the appearance of it um, because it's so deep below the surface of the skin. Um, you know, it obviously takes quite a lot of you know, products and work to kind of penetrate all those layers. So the number one thing to prevent pigmentation is sunscreen. The truth is, it doesn't matter what you do for a job, indoor job, outdoor job, office job, you know, we all really need to be wearing SPF all day every day. The truth is, you know, even just going from your house to the car, sitting in that car with the sun, you know, beaming through the window, it's all causing damage to your skin and contributing to pigmentation that's forming. There's even been a lot of research lately that says that the blue light from your screens and from your phones is also contributing to photo aging and pigmentation. So it doesn't really matter where you go, um, you can't really avoid it. And I guess not just from a cosmetic point of view, but also a health point of view. You know, in Australia, we have you know, some of the harshest UV levels um, in the world. Thankfully, facial sunscreens have come a really long way since those thick, greasy, white, gross sunscreens that our parents used to like lather on us at the beach. That every day <laughs> is most important. If you're like me and it's too late to prevent any pigmentation forming. Um, there are still some really great products that you can use to help minimize the appearance of pigmentation, um, you know, stop it from getting any worse. Also um, rejuvenate your skin to help kind of break it down a little bit. So the first thing um, I use in my skincare routine is this Dermalist Ultra Hydrating Lactic Cleanser. I've never really been impressed by cleansers. Like I don't really think that much of them. I mean, they're only on the skin for like, a minute but this one has really really proved me wrong lactic acid is a really um, gentle exfoliating um, ingredient that will kind of really mildly resurface your skin but it's just not harsh or drying like a lot of the other acids can be i'm really mindful of using anything too harsh and too stripping a lot of people think you know okay well, i've got pigmentation i'm just going to try and strip my skin back and use all these really strong acids but you're actually going to do more damage to your skin doing that so this is kind of like the best of both worlds i use this morning um, and night it's gentle enough to use every day it also contains um, vitamin c and um, australian finger lime which is like a natural form of vitamin c and i think that also helps to brighten your skin tone and you know lighten up that pigmentation it also contains niacinamide which is um, vitamin b3 B3, which reduces redness and congestion. Taking away the redness will also take away from the appearance of your pigmentation. I've been using this only for a few weeks and it's already actually brightened my skin tone. It's helped my skin feel smoother and it's also made my skin feel really nourished and hydrating. So I'm amazed that a cleanser can actually do so much when I only use like a tiny, you know, the tiniest amount goes such a long way. So that's step one in my skincare routine. Secondly, in my morning routine, the next thing I put on my skin is um, a vitamin C serum. You generally tell people to use, you know, your serum's lightest to heaviest um, and usually you'd use maybe like a vitamin B or a hyaluronic before your vitamin C. But um, we recently just had SkinCeuticals training um, and they said that your vitamin C should be the first thing that you put onto your skin after cleansing with their products especially. But SkinCeuticals are the absolute gold standard in vitamin C serums. They have 20 years of science and research um, to back up all of their claims. Um, so 
they're the real deal. This is their Floritin CF. It is 10% ascorbic acid, which is the pure vitamin C aspect. Also has 2% Floritin, um, which Floritin actually is a powerful antioxidant that actually helps with pigmentation. And also ferulic acid, this is another um, antioxidant. So this is, you know, not only gonna help to brighten your skin, it's giving you so much more protection from the sun and from environmental pollution and external factors that can aid you and also, you know, contribute to your pigmentation. Vitamin C inhibits um, the production of melanin under the skin. This will actually block those that pigmentation from getting darker. It does also have a bit of a, just got a bit of a scent. Some people actually do say it smells a little bit kind of like a mild bacon smell. Obviously it's it hasn't got any artificial fragrances. So many products have all this, you know, unnecessary crap put in there to make them smell better. But this is really just like, you know, the raw ingredients that are effective that are in there. When you put it on your face, it smells for a tiny bit and then the smell goes away. But to be honest, because the product's um, so good, the smell doesn't bother me. With the SkinCeuticals um, Floritin CF and most of their um, vitamin C serums, they are, you know, this kind of amber yellowy color um, and they do oxidize over time. Over time, it will actually get a little bit darker. Um, and with this one, um, you only need about three or four drops um, over your whole face. Um, I always avoid kind of my under eye area. They do have a special one for eyes if, you know, under your eyes is your concern. Um, but this one's just for design for the rest of your face. This one is, you know, probably on the higher end of a price point for vitamin Cs, but because you know my pigmentation and my skin tone is one of the most important, you know, my most important skincare concerns, I can justify spending that little bit more um, for that product because I know it's amazing and it's worth it. Then after that, I will use my um, Alpha H Vitamin B Serum. Sorry, I've just got like makeup <laughs> on all my serums. And this one's also got um, copper peptides in it, which um, help with um, anti-aging and rejuvenating um, collagen production, um, elastin production in the skin. But it also has niacinamide. I think vitamin B is probably like the most underrated active ingredient, but it's a really important part of your skincare routine. Vitamin B helps to strengthen your skin's barrier. It also helps to hydrate your skin and you know nourish it. This has also got hyaluronic acid in, which plumps up your skin and helps to really lock in the moisture um, in your skin. Alpha H Vitamin B is actually a really beautiful um, blue color. And this one, again, you only need um, three or four drops of that. Um, it also has a little bit of a smell. Um, it's nothing like a really, really gross or really bad, but it's something to be conscious of because obviously when you open it and, and smell it, you might think that it's it's gone off or um, had a bit of a bumpy ride um, <laughs> to your door. And I think this one as well for, it's such a reasonable price point that um, I just think it's a really good serum and because it does what it's supposed to do, the smell doesn't bother me. So my next step is my moisturizer. This is the Aspect Phytostat 9. Um, it's actually a really kind of generous sized um, pump bottle. This is just a really good all-rounder moisturizer. Um, it helps with pigmentation, it helps with dehydration. It's really hydrating and nourishing, but it's not too heavy and thick because I do have oilier skin. I'd love to wear rich creams and all that kind of stuff, but if I do that in the morning, my face will just be completely dripping and shining by three in the afternoon. To compensate for the smell of these two, this one smells beautiful. Um, it just has that really nice day cream smell that you know you expect from like a really nice bougie high-end cream. This one here is a pump, so it just pumps out and you just about a pearl sized amount. It's just, yeah, just a really good all rounder, that one. That pretty much finishes up my morning routine. Um, I obviously finish with my um, ultraviolet clean screen. Um, SPF should always be the last step um, in your skincare routine, but I do pop that on underneath my makeup. So just like one, sorry, it's really dirty. One pump of that is enough to cover your face and neck as well. And then I would apply my, my makeup. One thing I actually only learned just the other day is that we're actually supposed to be um, reapplying sunscreen every two hours throughout the day for maximum protection. Most of us don't have time to take off our makeup, put sunscreen on and redo our makeup every two hours. So what I actually do for a bit of added protection, obviously it's not the full protection that an SPF sunscreen will give you, um, but this is actually a Youngblood um, mineral powder foundation. I've obviously had this <laughs> for quite a while, so it's a little bit worn out. Because it's a mineral powder, it actually does have a little bit of SPF protection in it. So just kind of um, topping up with that throughout the day, which I like to top up anyway, but I get so many compliments, people being like, you know, hey, your skin just looks really natural and glowy. Um, and this is my secret. It's um, not one that you can use in the car on the way to work um, because it is a little bit powdery. Um, I have 
chanced it many a morning and ended up with little kind of like this. I just now have <laughs> makeup on the table. So it's something that yeah, I usually do at home over the sink. But yeah, because it does have that little bit of um, SPF protection, it just does add to that protection throughout the day and it's definitely better than wearing nothing at all. You proved the point then. I literally proved my, I'm actually petrified because I'm wearing a white shirt. I might actually have to clean this. Oh, there's a spray next to that. <laughs> Honestly, this shit is amazing. It's actually amazing. For my nighttime routine, I cleanse with the Dermalis Lactin Cleanser. Um, I don't use vitamin C at night. I then apply my vitamin B and then I apply my retinol. Um, now retinol or vitamin A, as it's also known, um, is probably the most um, powerful active skincare ingredient on the market. It helps with anti-aging because it um, promotes the production of um, collagen in the skin. It also helps with pigmentation because, you know, in producing those new skin cells, it's helping to kind of break down the pigmentation and re rejuvenate your skin. It helps with your overall skin tone and texture. Um, yeah, it's probably the most potent um, ingredient, but because it is so potent, so active, it can cause some irritation. And I don't have overly sensitive skin, but I'm quite sensitive to retinol, which is shit. I mean, it's <laughs> not good. Are you allowing swearing in these videos? You are, okay. <laughs> Obviously it is so um, effective, but I need to be really careful because if I, you know, I've used it before and I've really like flaked around, which is what it's it is supposed to make you flake because it is kind of producing new skin cells, but obviously it's not an ideal reaction. You don't want to have flaky skin all the time. The Cosmeceutical Masters at Medicaid um, have actually brought in this range called um, Crystal Retinol. This is the number three, um, but there's actually four in the range. I started on the one um, and didn't have any adverse reactions or anything from that. And now I'm ready to start the three, which is a 0.3%. Then they have a six, which is 0.6%. And then the number 10 is their strongest in the range. And that's 1%. And 1% is, I'm pretty sure the strongest um, strength of retinol you can get without a prescription. So I use that at night. Retinol should only ever be used at night because it can cause your skin to be more sensitive to the sun, which SPF is always important, but extra, extra important um, when using a retinol. This one is actually more of a cream um, solution. So just a little bit, I won't use too much of it now because I don't want to waste it. So just that again, all around your face, um, avoiding the delicate skin around your eyes. Again, there's special retinols for the eye area. The skin's really different around your eyes compared to the rest of your face. It's also, I think, a really good price point. Retinols can be really expensive. This one here is not too bad. And I think I just really like that it's easy. You start on the one and you work your way up to the 10 um, if your skin can tolerate it. If not, you kind of just stick on, you know, where your skin sits at. So that's a really great product as well that I use at night. The next product um, I want to talk about is the Alpha H Liquid Gold. I don't think this one really needs much introduction. Um, I was really skeptical of the hype about this product, but now that I use it um, once a week, I actually think it's pretty amazing as well. It's mainly um, made from glycolic acid. Um, now glycolic acid, again, is gonna resurface your skin. Um, it's gonna help brighten your skin tone, lighten up your pigmentation. It is a little bit stronger than the lactic acid. So this isn't something that I personally would wanna use more than once a week, because it can be a little bit you know, drying on certain skin types. I just use that once a week um, at night. Um, after cleansing, I don't use my vitamin B, I don't use my retinol with this one. Definitely not retinol after using that, your skin would be super, super tingly. So I just use that, yeah, once a week um, after cleansing. I don't put a moisturizer on afterwards. You can if your skin's kind of feeling a little bit too tingly, um, but Alpha H actually recommend that using it um, on its own without anything afterwards is actually gonna give you a more intense treatment. It really is like an overnight facial. Like you wake up in the morning and your skin just, just so kind of smooth and kind of plump and glowing. A lot of people use this every second day I don't think I could <laughs> I would use it every second day, but that's just maybe my skin type. That's obviously quite a lengthy routine. I obviously love skincare and love all these products. If you don't have the time, um, you know, or even the the you know financial um, justification to purchase all these products, um, if you were going to just buy one product to try and help um, with your pigmentation and help brighten up that skin tone, even out the skin tone, then this Dermalist All Serum really is what the name says. It is everything in one. It doesn't actually have a retinol in it, but it really just does tick all the boxes. It helps with your skin tone, helps with pigmentation, helps with anti-aging, helps to moisturize your skin, helps with skin tone, skin texture. So it is just an all serum, all in one. Um, it's amazing. And even on nights, if I come home um, a bit late and I'm a bit tired and I just really can't be asked 
with all of that, I just put this on and at least I know that it's still, you know, having a great effect on my skin and it's still doing all the things that I needed to do. Oh, and this one is yeah, a pump bottle and it's really nice. This one smells beautiful as well. It's a really nice, like creamy, milky texture. And this one's all organic, vegan, Australian made, Australian owned. Like it literally ticks every single skincare product box that you would wonder, cruelty free, you know, sulfate free, paraben free, alcohol free, this is everything. The lady that actually made it is actually, I think like 15, 20 years working in, in the industry. Um, and she's been the last five years developing this. So yeah, it's really awesome. This, this actually, this whole brand is actually amazing. Like, have you tried this cleanser? but it's so important to protect your skin from the sun. Um, the sun causes so much um, UVA and UVB damage. Um, it causes you know, pigmentation, wrinkles, sunspots, age spots. Burning your skin damages your skin and damages the layers of your skin. So then your skin barrier strength is compromised. So you're more susceptible to aging and acne and breakouts and you know, bacteria on the skin. So it's so important to protect your skin from the sun. Using SPF is the number one way you can do that. If you have already a little bit damage is too little too late, damage has been done, um, then there are some really amazing products that you can use to help further protect your skin, um, you know, prevent your pigmentation from getting any worse, and also to try and reduce the appearance of that pigmentation and stop it from getting worse as you get older. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please hit the like button. Uh, and if you have any questions about pigmentation or any of the products we've spoken about today, um, please feel free to leave some comments below. We'd be happy to get back to you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>